Now let's jump in and convert the copper water lines, hot and cold, over to PEX to feed this valve. So down in the crawl space, here's my old existing copper. This is my cold water line, as expected, would be on the right side of the valve. We're looking at the valve from this direction. And then this hot water line is kind of hiding behind my inch and a half drain coming out of the tub. And I'm gonna cut my two existing copper pipes here and here, and then I'll convert those over with a focus on making this a DIY project. So I'm gonna use a half inch union from Shark Bite. Now once that opens up before you completely cut it, just let the water drain out. And this also would be an early indicator if your main water shut off is not off and you might have an issue, especially if you broke this all the way open. So I did use a half inch cap for a shark bite. These are reusable. If you're gonna be using shark bites, it's always good to have these tools. So you compress down that internal ring and then that's how you can work that cap off of that pipe or fitting off. So then I'll be able to reuse this cap. So now I have the copper pipes cut to where I want them. You would want to make sure you've removed any of the burrs I also marked one inch, actually 0.95 inches on the pipe. And why you mark that is because that will be the insertion depth of the actual fitting. When you start to press the fitting on, you'll, you'll reach some resistance. That's when the pipe is starting to hit the O-ring. That is not when you wanna stop. You have to go past that resistance to the full depth. And if you only go to that O-ring, I would say that is the leading cause of shark bite failures is you will get a leak because the O-ring is not fully sealed around the pipe. And again, I'm matching my colors, my blue line to the cold water line, just so we don't confuse anybody later on. And that's it. Now we are going from half inch copper to half inch PEX. Shark bites are wildly convenient. And I'm a believer. 